Hi, my name is Ron Boswell. I'm a clinical specialist here for Merritt Medical. I work in the field assurance department. I'm a registered invasive cardiovascular specialist, currently working in the cath labs today. And I've also managed a few cath labs for about 10, 11 years. So today we're gonna to take you through the Trampy setup. I've opened everything up, set it out on the table sterilely. I've handed all the devices off to the circulator, to the scrub, whoever's in the position of helping you out. This is the, uh, the, the kit itself, the Tram-P kit. This is what was in the bag. Um, and we laid it out on the table here. Obviously this is gonna be sterile and you're gonna start handing off pieces of the kit here as we go. The next step, we're gonna zero the transducer. So I'm gonna take my level. We found the phlebostatic level of the patient. How you do it in your cath lab is totally up to you. Really quick, where I come from, we grab the fourth intercostal space, mid-axillary level. We find that space, that's our point. That's the point we want the, the transducer zero to. We pass this off to the circulator. This will be hooked onto your IV pole. Once this is hooked on and leveled with the phlebostatic level of the patient, you don't wanna mess with it. You wanna leave it right where it's at. Second thing we wanna do is we wanna to open to the atmosphere. So we're open here and we're gonna call up to our monitoring, our, our individual monitoring behind the glass there, tell them to go ahead and zero and they're gonna go ahead and zero our line for us. After they've zeroed, we turn off to the atmosphere and on to our patient. So by me turning this from straight up and down, when we zero to the right, it's gonna put us on to the patient and off to the atmosphere. So this level here is our phlebostatic level so that we can get accurate hemodynamics through our system. So the next step, <clears throat> we're level here. You're gonna see, I'm gonna go ahead and take our manifold um, because we don't use it flat. We're gonna raise and lower it here just so you can see we're remaining consistent here with our pressures. And we'll do it again. Because this is used, you guys use this all day. You know this has bounced around a little bit. It's moved back and forth. And our pressures are staying the same. This is what will change our phlebostatic level. So you can see in dropping this, our pressures are gonna fluctuate. We're gonna put it through the roof. Lifting it up, and we're gonna bury it. So it's imperative that this connection, this phlebostatic level to our patient is consistent throughout the case and when you zero. You don't wanna mess with it, you don't wanna adjust the IV pole, you wanna run your procedure without manipulating this any further once you're set and zeroed. Using this uh, throughout the procedure, um, as you know as well as I do, this cath lab manifold, manifold the transducer, as we use this throughout the procedure, you can see we can create noise as we tap or move it or clear. And we're gonna get a little bit of noise, a little bit of artifact. That's normal, that's, that's, what, that's what's gonna happen. Oh, just go. When again, when we're back in the procedure and we're level, we're utilizing this as we should. We're good. We wanna continue through the case at that point. Manipulating the manifold, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be fine. We can do whatever we want to do with this. We don't wanna to touch the level of our transducer. Transducer level is important to leave alone once we've zeroed. Don't mess with it. Everything else, we should be good. We'll have a successful case for the cardiologist and, and good numbers for our patient. 